Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for March 11th. I'm Philip Newman, and I'm going to be solving Fog Killer by Bill Murphy. This is Killer Sudoku with some fog cells. So we'll talk about those in a second. But we do have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine each row, column, and three by three box. We have killer cages. Digits in the cages cannot repeat. I don't think that's relevant in this puzzle. I think these are all two cell cages, even the ones covered by fog. Um, but the digits in the cage must sum to the total given in the top left corner. And then we have some cells that are covered up by fog. Um, whenever we are able to place a correct digit in a cell adjacent to one of these fog cells, even diagonally, it will clear the fog and we'll be able to see what the total is. Um, all of these fog cells are on top of part of the killer cage and the part that contains the total. So we will have to place some digits to be able to see what those totals are. And fog um, tends to narrow down the, the solve path a little bit, which can be helpful for um, puzzles where you're not sure where to look. Um, we have limited places that we can even try to start this puzzle. So I'm actually gonna start down here um, just because the explanation is a little easier, um, but we'll come back up to this. Um, this is a trick that we've used before in gas um, and Bill did a short on this explaining it. And there are a couple of different ways to look at it. Um, so I'm gonna talk through both of them. We have a five cage and a six cage, and they're in the same box. So we can't repeat digits in these cells. What can we put in these cages? Well, the first way to look at it is just to think through what possibilities we have. There are two ways to make five and two cells. We could have one four, or we could have two three. There are two ways to make six. We could have one five and two four. Now, one of these combinations in the five cage specifically, actually in both, um, but we'll, we'll do the five. Um, one of them has a problem, and that is one four. If we have one four in the five cage, we can't have one or four in the six cage, but now we have two and five left over, and those sum to seven. So that's obviously not right. Um, another way to look at that is, we're using the one, so we can't have one five. We're using the four, so we can't have two four. We could do the same here. If this were two four, now we're using the two from two three, and we're using the four from one four. So we don't have a possibility for the five. What we would be left with in this cage is one three, which sums to four. So either way, we need two three in the five cage and one five in the six cage. Now, the other way to look at that is these four have to be different. Let's just consider them together. So these four cells sum to 11 now, 5 plus 6. How do we make 11 in four cells? Well, there's only one way to do it. It's 1, 2, 3, 5. And now we can immediately see what the combination has to be. The only way to make 5 out of these four digits is with the 2, 3 and then the one five here. We can do the same thing on the high digits. Um, some people may find it easier to deal with the low digits, but the logic is exactly the same. Um, I will do it as a 29 cage. There's only one way to make 29 in four cells. That is five, seven, eight, nine. And of those possibilities, we need seven, eight in the 15, and then we need 5, 9, and 14. So what does that do for us? The 1, 5 here looks over at this 14 cage. And 14, again, only has two possibilities. We could have 5, 9, or 6, 8. But if 5 is used in the row, this has to be 6, 8. But we have the 7, 8 looking down. So this can only be 6, and this can only be 8. And that gives us one of our fog cells. And now the one looks over and gives us three and one in that order. We can do the same up here. 
There's a 5 in this 14 cage, so it's not in the 6 cage. This must be 2, 4. The 2, 3 looks up and gives us 4 and 2. And that gives us a 16 cage, which has to be 7 and 9. And we know the order. Now, this digit, so down here, this didn't give us anything here, but this digit did clear the fog here. So that is useful. We know we have an 8 here. We know that the 8 can't be 1, 7 because of the 7 here. So it is either 6, 2 in that order or 3, 5. We also have an 11 that we got from clearing the uh, fog in this cell. And we would have two possibilities if we just looked at this box. One way to make 11 is 9, 2. One way is 4, 7. So those are ruled out. Also, we have a 3 in the column, so we can't have 3, 8. So this must be 5, 6. The 5 looks down here. And additionally, now we can only place a 3 in this cell. So that's 5. The remaining digits here are 1 and 8. So I will go ahead and mark those. We have another 8 here. It can't be 3, 5 because this cell sees both 3 and 5. So we could have 1, 7 like that, or we could have 6, 2 like that because of the 2. So low digit here, high digit here. All right, these are going to be from 7, 8, 9, though. And if the 7 is here, then this is not 7, so this is 6, 2. Now this 12 goes with 7, 8, or 9, so it's 3, 4, or 5. It's not 5, so this is not 7. We still need 1, 3, and 4, and the 1 looks down here. So this is our 1, this is 3 or 4. These two digits are 7 and 9. These are 4, 6, and 8, and we can place the 4 in that cell. And that's going to give us a, another fog cleared. Um, this 9 can't be 1, 8 because of this 1. So we have 6 and 3, that gives 2 and 3, 8 there. This 11 is pretty unrestricted right now. It can't be 3, 8, but it could be anything else. All right, let's look. What do we have left here? Uh, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 9. Is that interesting? Well, let's start down here then. 2, 7, 9 in these cells. Okay, so. That, that is helpful. So it couldn't be 3, 8, but now it also can't be 2, 9 or 4, 7. So it is 5, 6. That means our 5 is going to be in one of these cells. Uh, 2 is up here somewhere. Anything else from that? Probably is. Uh, oh, 1 and 3 here. So this 1, 3 looks up here. And we have a 3 here. That's what I was missing. 1, 8. These are from 2, 4, and 6. We know this is the 6. These are 1, 3, and 8. No, it's not 3. Uh, the 8 here gives us 7 and 8. All right, for the 11, we can either have 2, 9, or 4, 7. But we have a 9 here, so 7, 4, 2. Now this nine can't include one, two, or three, so it must be four, five. This is six and five. This is nine. This is two, six. Uh, the nine looks down here. Seven also. All right, now we have a 10 here. What can we say about the 10? Uh, it still seems fairly unrestricted. It can't be two, eight because of these. What are these? Uh, we need a 1 in this box. Can't go in these cells. This is 4, 8. And now we know this is a 12, so it definitely doesn't contain 2. But it also doesn't contain 3 or 4. So this must be 5, 7. Uh, the 5, 6 disambiguates that. And that's going to give us 9 and 7 here. Here we need 2 and 4 and 5, 9. 
So we would have a deadly pattern here, but this cage is going, going to resolve it once we clear the fog. All right, these are nine and eight. So to make 12, we either need three or four, but we can't have a three. So this is four, this is eight and nine. This 10 now can't be one, nine, two, eight, or four, six. So it is three, seven. The four gives us two and four, and we need to sum to nine. So that resolves our five, nine. Still need a six in this box, along with one and two. All right, this is not eight. This is not seven or nine, so it is eight. And that gives us nine and three and four and seven. And we're getting close to the end here. This is one, two, six. It's not one. This is three, five, nine. And we have a three and a nine in this column. So five there, and that gives us six and five. That gives us six and two. Uh, six has to go here. One and two. That gives us eight. Three and one from this one. Uh, the two looks down for the seven, and here. Uh, three looks down for nine and three. The five gives us four and five, four and eight. And to finish off, we need eight, seven, and four. And that is how you solve Fog Killer by Bill. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let us know how it went, and I will see you next time.